All right, so this one, this is 8.5. Uh, sometimes they're not perfect quadratics, but we can force them to be quadratics, and that's, well, that's pretty nice. Um, that's what pretty much all this stuff is saying is if we have something to a power which is twice the power of the middle term's power, then we can replace the powers with something else. And then we solve it like usual. We just see there at the end, we have to never forget to replace what we've replaced with what it was. That sounds really awesome, right? So, <laughs> we usually use U, okay, because, well, U is a nice letter, and it's easy to write. So, we can see right here, right, that we said, well, X to the power of P is U, so we replace the X to the power of P with the U, so X to the power of two P's would be U squared right there, right? So, that's what I mean by that. You, you can solve right there with a quadratic formula. You can uh, complete the square if that's what you really want to do. But just remember, again, at the end, when you solve for whatever u is, you need to replace u with what it was originally, in this case, x to the p, which is very abstract, but we'll look at an example on how that works, okay? By the way, I guess I should mention, uh, for the homework on this one, most of them, if not all of them, should work out pretty smoothly on this, okay? So expect one to be double the power of another one. Of course, you may have to rearrange it a little bit, which is okay, but it should work out pretty smoothly. So this one doesn't want us to solve. That's, that's actually very nice. All it wants us to do is to figure out what we would replace u with. Now, of course, this should probably be equal to zero or something like that. But see how we've got in the middle, we've got this x squared plus 7. We could make that to the power of 1 if we really wanted to. But then we've got this x squared plus 7, this quantity, which is squared. So see how the powers are double? One is double what the other one is. So we would say let, not that you'd have to write let, but let u equals x squared plus 7. And that's what we would replace u with. Now, it didn't ask us to do this part, but I'm going to do it anyways, just so you guys can see what, what would happen on this one, right? So originally, we would, we would change. We're just replacing this x squared plus 7 with u now. That was squared before. We're going to add that to x squared plus 7, but we're going to replace that with u. If you really want, you can put that power of 1 there. Maybe it just helps us connect those two. And, of course, it was minus 9 equals 0. From here, you would solve this like you would any other quadratic, of course, using whatever method you want. But that's, that's how that changes this so that it becomes something a little bit easier to solve maybe. So this, this is what we would get if we solved for u. The problem is, is that now we need to go in and replace u with what it was originally. And that is, um, well, x squared plus 7, right? So now I've got to subtract 7 from both sides and square root that garbage. Just look at this right here. See how ugly that is? This is so ugly that even in the homework, we don't want to see it like this. Which is a good thing, right? So I guess technically we would say that this one, if that's what we had, could not be factored. 